Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jack. We are back again with the Holy Priest Mythic Plus Guide, and generally I just want to take some time to go over some tips and tricks, um, going over some talent variations that you'll first have uh, going into Mythic Plus, some just different gear switches that you might be able to make to make life a little bit easier for you, and then finally just some advice from different Aphex perspective or just different instances and stuff like that. So, into talents, um, going down the list, you're always going to be taking Trail of Light, I would always suggest taking Feather, they're both, you know, pretty useful, um, just set and forget really. Uh, for 45s, Shining Force can be really, really good if you're running Necrotic, um, and you want to give your tanks a breathing room, but I personally like running Censure a lot, lot more. Censure giving you the stun on already your most damaging spell in Chastise, so, you know, more often than not, the target that you want to be focusing on whenever you're able to add some damage, is always going to be the priority target. So, for instance, if you're an Eye of Ashara, well, you really want to get rid of the Seagulls right away if you pull one. So, dropping a Censure on it, getting the stun on it immediately, getting it to stop bashing you in the face, so, so nice. Very, very good to take. Um, for 60s, Light of the Naru versus Guardian Angel. I really don't like using Guardian Angel that much in Mythic Plus. And it's partially because of the reason that I kind of have used Guardian Spirit as much as I can. Um, thanks to the Guardians of the Light talent, or the artifact trait, you get two Guardian Spirits whenever you put one up. So if I put one on the tank, the tank has Guardian Spirit, and then I immediately get Guardian Spirit on myself. And often in very high affixes, what I'll do is I'll kind of bounce off my spirit, either myself or the tank, where um, if I'm if everyone's taking large amounts of damage, and I want to be able to ignore a couple people for two or three seconds to get some other casts in, what I'll do is I'll usually Guardian Spirit that person or you know Guardian Spirit somebody else so that it'll go on me. And say I'm taking heavy damage, I'll let my health just drop down to zero, reset up to 40 when the Spirit gets consumed, and then I'll start healing myself. And this way you get yourself some breathing room, um, and generally life's a lot easier. You know, oftentimes I'll even do that if I'm trying to max out damage at lower level keystones. I'll just toss Guardian Spirit up and I'll just start Holy Nova spamming as best as I can. Um, so those are options available to you. If you are consistently having your Guardian Angel or Guardian Spirit consuming the Spirit, then Guardian Angel is not going to be that effective for you. Um, couple that with the fact that I think Light of the Naru, the flexibility of it, um, not only for getting your Holy Words back, but for getting Chastise back, it's so very, very important to keep uh, the gears of the machine flowing. And Light of the Nara does that super, super well. So, unless you're having very, very heavy tank problems, you know, unless you're having those, you can take Guardian Angel, but otherwise I'd suggest taking Light of the Nara. 75 doesn't really have that big of an impact. Um, you know, I just take Surge of Light. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, for 90s, there is a choice between Divinity and Divine Star. Divine Star gives you that extra bit of damage. It'll actually out DPS Holy Nova, and it'll be very, very nice um, just to be able to have. Because as you get to higher affixes, you're not really able to jump headfirst into melee and just spam Holy Nova. You have to be a lot more cautious about it. And Divine Star can suit that very well. But at the same time, when you're in extended boss fights due to Tyrannical, you know it. You really need that extra healing, you know, or just even at a 10 plus when the adjet hits so much harder, you really need that extra burst of healing. So if you're over 10 uh, in the affixes or even under, you know, I generally suggest taking divinity. You know, the extra healing is extremely vital. If you don't need the extra healing, you feel very confident, take divine star, get some extra damage in, get the, get the run going faster. For 100 talents, apotheosis hands down. Even if you're in like an overflow week and you're saying, oh, I don't want to use apotheosis because I don't want to be making 3 million shields on everybody, that's fine. Use Apotheosis as a DPS cooldown. You know, Being able to have a Chastise every three casts of Smite can be so, so powerful, so, so useful, you know, and well worth uh, the talent, you know. Uh, Circle Heal and Benediction don't really give you much in a five-man. I would not recommend taking either of those. So Apotheosis all the way. It's fantastic. It's if you're, Even if you're only using it as a DPS cooldown, it's still super great. But if you're using it as a healing cooldown, I... I don't think there's anything more engaging, more interesting, and in many ways, I don't think there's anything more powerful than that, of having the ability to have 30 seconds of just God mode holy words, topping everybody off in an instant. It's, it's fantastic. So, 
Now with uh, gear and some of the different changes and stuff like that you'll have for gear, I always try to prioritize having my trinket switched around, and I don't really change around the rest of my gear because you know all of my stats for raid are always going to be good for healing in Mythic Plus. But sometimes you'll want to opt for uh, a lot more intellect and a lot more uh, secondary stats and dropping mana regen whenever you can. So because you can just sit down and drink whenever you like in a dungeon, hopefully out of combat, uh, I always just drop any kind of mana regen trinkets and I try to get something that is int and another stat. Um, I think whenever possible I always try to drop mastery in some cases. I don't go crazy with it, you know. But if I have mastery trinkets and stuff like that, and I have the option to take an int and crit, or even you know very heavy int and maybe like a haste proc or something like that, then I usually opt for that. Uh, I'm taking I'm using an int crit stat stick uh, currently. I'm not sure, I don't think I'm using it in this video, but I'm using an int crit stat stick currently, and I'm using Flask of the Solemn Knight. So they're both 860 or 880 trinkets that give me significantly more intellect and give me significantly more crit and haste and both those stats get a lot better in Mythic Plus because not only is it you know, improving your damage and your damage is absolutely crazy essential um, but also it's going to be increasing your healing and having the extra haste can always be a very very nice boost because a lot of times it's a race to top people off you know you don't care about mana you don't care about you know efficiency or anything like that you should get everybody topped off now and generally speaking you're going to be doing that with flash heal I really, really rarely ever use Prayer of Healing. Um, the majority of your healing is going to be Flash Heal. I usually renew in between uh, pulls and trash packs and stuff like that. You know, drop Palm on the tank when um, we're just engaging a pack and there's not really having any heavy damage. But a lot of times you're going to be spamming Flash Heal, and that'll be your bread and butter. I'm always using Sanctify um, on cooldown relatively whenever the situation permits and always being very aggressive with using Serenity and keeping the tank topped off, so... And, and that's generally the style. You're not changing your playstyle too much from raiding, so... It should be very familiar. It should be very familiar to you. Whenever there's nothing to heal, obviously getting in there and doing some Holy Nova or using Chastise, and it's super, super powerful. I think you should be uh, Holy Nova using Holy Nova even at two targets, because it's just that powerful, you know. Get Holy Fire dots up as best as you can, go crazy. For the affixes, um, some of them are pretty standard, like Sanguine, like uh, Volcanic, just watch your feet. Try not to stun any ads in any of the goop, you know. Um, other things that are very similar is Bolstering and Raging, I think are very, very similar, in that when you're bolstering all these ads onto one, well, that pretty much is an enraged ad, like when you have the Raging debuff. Um, so I kind of treat those very similarly where I will hold off on using a Holy Word or I'll hold off on using Guardian Spirit until the last ad is out or until three of those guys enrage and then the tank takes a lot of damage and then you have to focus the tank. So those are the ones I usually watch out for. For Necrotic, that's where I brought up where you could kind of use um, knockbacks to help out the tank but really, really coordinate with them. I usually try to use life grips whenever possible but they gotta know where you're bringing them, you know, so that they can do that as best as possible. Um, for me, I love bear tanks because bears have such a, like a huge reservoir of health to work with, and they're generally pretty they're pretty good at um, just kiting ads around and slowing ads, getting out of range, dropping the debuff, charging back in. You know, it was very very nice. Overflow. I know a lot of people <laughs> ask me about overflow with Holy Priest. You really just got to control yourself. You got to hold on to uh, your serenities. You know, you just can't go crazy with them. Uh, I think the biggest thing is just tracking your overflow debuffs whenever possible because that'll be the biggest difference. Like, it's not going to kill you if you make a 3 million shield on somebody just as the pull is ending. What's going to matter is if it, you don't recognize that and you're pulling the next set of trash and you have 3 million healing to work through and you didn't even look, you know? So. I think the more that you keep an eye on it, the better it'll be. Uh, skittish is kind of where I will keep away from melee more often than not because I don't want to pull aggro, uh, especially when the tank is just trying to get threat. Um, because Holy Nova is doing equal damage to everybody, and I don't want somebody to just randomly whack at me. So, kind of having a little bit of space is always really strong. Um, and fortified and teaming, 
you know, nothing too crazy, just more ads or stronger ads, so you're kind of handling everything the same way. Tyrannical is obviously, like, the hardest one to deal with because the boss fights become actual boss fights. Um, and the biggest thing I would say for that is whenever you're in Tyrannical, obviously it's going to be 10 or higher, don't spooge Apotheosis. You know, it's so tempting to use Apotheosis immediately in, in the beginning of a fight is, um, and just try to burst things down. But in many cases, you can live for to, re to regret it. And you want to be very, very careful of that. Um, because Tyrannical is like a real raid mythic boss fight, you know, you have to keep an eye on it. You know, maybe you can use it in the execute phase, maybe you can use it near the end of the fight, but you need to be very cautious with it, very conservative in many ways. But when it's go time, you know, pop apotheosis, go crazy. You know, you know don't be shy about it when you realize the damage is unmanageable without it. So just don't spooge it for damage at the beginning of a fight, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the Mythic Plus guide. I think that's kind of wrapped it up, wrap it all up for me. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. I'll have a lot more videos on the way, so be sure to subscribe, leave comments, all that stuff. Check out the Twitch stream below. If you're brand new and you uh, haven't actually checked out any of my guides at all, check them out in the description. Written guides and the video advanced guides and basic guides are also linked on this channel. So. Enjoy, I'll catch you all next time.